Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to The Lovely Lab. So today I am coming on for a quick 20-minute scrap busting session okay in which i plan to use the scraps that i have in this bag this is not all my scraps but this is just what i've accumulated over the past couple of months after projects and decent sized scraps um or ones that i of with paper that i really like um so i have pulled five stamp sets of images that i would like to use that are you know, widely usable, if you will, and um, butterflies, dragonflies, um, doilies, teacups, um, and I'm going to stamp out some images on the scraps. Then I will add a little bit of watercolor to those images, and lastly, a hint of metallic paint. Now, I don't have a watercolor metallic, so I will be using my acrylic paints that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Here we are, Master's Touch. And I'll water them down just a bit just so that I can add a little sheen, you know, spruce up that scrappy bit. And then I'll fussy cut them out and add them to my my uh, scrappy ephemera. This is just ephemera that I've collected after I finished working on projects. And this is not ephemera from the store. This is mostly ephemera that I've um, cut out. or It's a couple pieces that are from the store, but... Um, ephemera that I've actually created or printed out from digitals and things like that. So um, I'll add that to that to the bin for future use. And this is just another way to use up the scraps that you have and in, in improvising with what you have um, to create something that you can use in future projects. So without further ado, go ahead and grab your scraps if you're going to craft along with me. And I'm going to put the rest of the music. Now, if you are new to the channel and this is something that you you're into, Go ahead and click that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of the creative content on this channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, I want to take a moment to thank you for allowing me to provide you with a little bit of inspiration, uh, creativity, and sharing my creative journey with you all. I appreciate your feedback and your comments. And um, if you have any of these stamp sets, drop in the comment and let me know which one. These are the ones I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, but these, I find that I've used this one very often, especially these. I haven't gotten a lot of usage out of those, but I intend to. And I love the bird cages. And obviously, I need to add some birds to my ephemera because I don't have any. And who doesn't like a butterfly and a dragonfly? So, that's what I'm using, guys. Um, go ahead and grab your supplies, and I'll be right back.
all right guys so this is what we ended up with a little tray full of ephemera stamped out using pigment ink and water colored over some of them just has little hints of metallic paint some of them I use a couple colors on along with the metallic paint and just to give some subtle uh, variations got the teacups and the birds uh, a few of the birds I did I left un uncolored um, simply so that I can color them individually um, as needed but I think this is a great way to use it for scraps, especially uh, pre, or, you know, cardstock that has color to them. You stamp and splash some metallic paint on them and you're good to go. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for printed ephemera simply because if you don't have an inkjet or don't have a laser jet, because with the inkjet, uh, once the ink gets wet, it blurs a little bit. So just make sure you're using pigment ink with your stamps and you should be fine and so what I've got here is you know a femur that I can use to make clusters to add to pages and let me show you what I worked on last night once I got those completed so I went on ahead and put together um, some ephemera clusters that I can use on my pages they came out pretty well and all of this was made using scraps. So scrap laces, uh, scrap paper. I used obviously some scrap paper to back it just to stabilize it a little bit. Um, but I love how this came out. I don't like, no, I, it's not that I don't like. I don't want everything that I create to have the vintage or distressed feel. So some of it has it and some of it doesn't. Where did that come from? Okay. And so that is what we ended up with. I hope that you guys found this little uh, segment useful and that you will pull out some of your scraps, use them up so that you can make use of your money. Just an extra way to get the most out of what you already have what you've already paid for all right and so that with that being said thanks so much for joining me and until we're back here together on youtube and patreon guys stay encouraged stay blessed stay creative and crafty bye for now If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.